things were going phenomenally. I put money in the bank, I invested, I started to invest in the stock market and my business was growing. And in 2008, when the stock market fell, in four days, I lost $148,000, which is a significant amount of my uh, savings and my family's savings. And to me, that was the, a huge blow because everything that I touched up to that point was incredibly successful. Um, but now I had to deal with that one piece of security that I had was gone. And in my mind, I had lost everything. I was like, oh my God, like, what's, what's happening? I lost all of our money. And I remember, I shared this very briefly, but the conversation that I had with my wife, which was a life changer for me. I was sitting on the, on, on the stairs and I said, Claudia, we just lost everything. And she looked at me and she said, Costa, if you believe your story about losing everything, we have just began losing everything. But if you, you believe that, <laughs> this always gets me, it's incredible. It's such a powerful story, it like changed my life. But she said, if you believe this is the beginning of something new, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna learn something. And we did. <laughs> and even if I try not to cry, it's like ridiculous. Yes, yes. It doesn't, because I said this story a few times and I promised myself I won't do this. But it was a pivotal moment in, in my life where I, I got to see that I had the biggest gift, which was unconditional love and I was doing everything from a space of insecurity and then I had an amazing series of spiritual experiences out of body experiences uh, meditative experiences that allowed me to really understand deep down inside that we are all one really really deeply connected it wasn't a philosophical feel-good story it was something that I deeply deeply knew and I could see that even though I was providing for my family, even though that we had the things that we needed to be happy, because of my energy, because of my tightness, my family was being affected by that. Throughout those whole years of thriving, reality is we never really thrive. We had the stuff, but I was always afraid to spend money because I wouldn't reach my goal of 250,000 by the age of 40, and all that stupid shit that I had inside my head. Yeah, I had just bought the BMW, I thought that I made it. I bought a Breitling watch, you know, I thought that I made it. But on the inside, I was completely fearful. Every little penny that went, we would go on, on vacation and I would calculate how much money I, I, I'm missing by taking that vacation because I would be missing $3,000 back home of income. Plus, and I've seen that with clients who have millions of dollars. Later on, when I started to do this work, I saw that the same disease that I had was in people who had many fold more than me. It was the same type of disease. And when I recognized that, I dedicated my life to becoming the best version of myself from the inside out. And Uplifted Life is a part of that project. So I deeply care about who you are as you're doing what you're doing, because I know at the end, this is what it's all about. It's who you are. So, and we started this this this, uh, this this company company called Uplifted Life to share this type of message to help people change from the inside. And then that gets reflected. The amazing part is that as you change who you are from the inside, you tend to your fears and insecurities. The external reflects back to you, and you live in a constant constant state of abundance, no matter where you are. And it's, it seems magic. And in a way it is, but once you start to understand how life works and the principles behind it and why you're here, all of a sudden it starts to make sense. At the end, it's all about that ripple effect. It's how you're touching. So you could be creating your business. You could be you know, even serving people. You could be making millions of dollars and feeding the hungry. But if on the inside there's resistance, there's tightness, there's an anxiety, there's a contraction, that's the ripple effect. So it's who you are first. Then everything gets imprinted by that energy, by that vibration. So abundance and thriving is an inner journey. And when you align yourself with that, the impulse of life, of forward movement and of contribution and outpouring and abundance from the inside out, life conspires to keep you going. It wants your success. 